Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Kingfish Simple. So in today's video, there's a bunch of stuff going on. Of course, it wouldn't be another vlog without Justin coming and doing some fish stuff with us because you look in this tank, our discus pairs, they're doing well. They're just fighting and there's all these other problems and stuff like that. So that's happening. We're also going to be taking a bunch of black ram fry and blue ram fry from Justin to finish raising up and then get them to sellable size. So that's really exciting. There's a bunch of other really, really cool things that are going to happen in today's vlog. So uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this vlog. We're also going to be setting up hopefully some kind of tetra breeding tank thing set up. That doesn't make any sense. Try and breed my glow light Danios and hopefully some neon tetras. This is going to be a really, really good vlog, I think. Make sure you stay around to the end without any further ado. Let's get started on some little jobs. So let's start off with the discus. So if we come over to this tank, we've got our first pair, which are these beautiful turquoise tiger discus or tiger turquoise. These are the IP ones. And if you're wondering why the water's a little bit dirty, it's because they just ate. Now these guys have been together for a couple of days. They're just a little bit aggressive to each other. I think they are a pair, but I mean, this female just nips at him a little bit. He's not that aggressive, but the female's a little bit aggressive. So we're gonna be doing some tactics. I'm gonna show you the other pair, which is these guys. This is lemon and clementine. So you've got down in this tank, you can see all the fry that we have left. We have about 35 fry and they're doing fantastic. They had a fluke treatment yesterday and they're doing really, really well. If you guys watched my other vlog, there'll be a link up in the top right hand corner. These guys basically had like a huge fluke problem, which I was unaware to, and you can watch the details of that in the other vlog. But Justin and I decided to take the fry out. Now these guys were just not happy about that, especially the male. And since then, for about a week, they've been bickering and fighting, and he's been keeping her in that corner and they're not eating properly. This stuff's normal with such smart fish. I mean, Discus is extremely intelligent. You can see her up the back. She's just been getting a little bit harassed by him and it's not being good. So our plan of attack, We've moved out all the fish from this big four foot tank and we're gonna be putting the two pairs together and seeing whether whether we'll basically get them to come back together, become better pairs. Like this is gonna act as a community tank and hopefully they pair off a bit better. So that's the first thing we're gonna be doing today. Second thing, these black angels are not pairing off very well. I've gotta put these back into a community tank. You can see how dark they are against that matte and filter. I've gotta get them back into their tank with the other three black angels in it and uh, hopefully get them to pair off again because I mean, you can see they're just a really, really aggressive fish. So. In the meantime, Justin's bringing his golden pearl scales. I think the golden pearl scale angels, he's got a pair and we're gonna be breeding them in here so he can clear up some space and pair off some new angels that we're gonna give him today. So that should be exciting. Another cool thing is you can see in here, we've got all these GBR fries. So these German blue rams, these are all hatched and raised by Justin. And he basically gives them to me when they're, I mean, maybe a quarter of this size or half this size. And I raise them up until they're fully adult size. And today he's gonna to be bringing the black ram fry, which we spawned in a couple of vlogs ago. He's gonna be bringing us two batches of them so it'll be really exciting to see how many blacks we get and how many golds there are and all that kind of stuff because I know you guys have been going crazy at me on my website. There's still probably two months before they're available so that'll be really exciting I'm keen to see them. The final thing in today's vlog is if you come over to this leopard frog tank you can see our leopard frog plecos. These are the L134s are doing extremely well. They're all growing and they have their kind of their adult patterns now. You can see there's a really beautiful one there but up the back of the tank are some really skittish and rare glow light Daniels and these guys we're gonna be trying to breed them now. So we've got seven of these guys I picked up an extra two. Um, they were hopefully they were males. And basically today we're going to be also building a little spawning container. I'm going to be trying to develop one of those. And well, it's not my idea, but hopefully you guys can learn from it too. And we're going to be trying to spawn these in the upcoming vlog. Without any further ado, let's set up some little fry boxes over there for the new ram fry. Move some fish around and yeah, it should be a fun vlog. So I've just finished setting those guys up. So we've got one two, three spare. We've got a bunch of these koi angels in this one. You can see how well these fry boxes work. So it's just a little bit of air. We have to turn this one on. It's just a little bit of air and constant water dripping into these guys to keep the water quality really good. This is a really good system. So full credit to Dean from Dean's Fish Room. He's the one who I took the idea from and uh, it's been working fantastic. So Justin's rocked up with another bag of goodies today. Are you gonna show us this in the bag? Yep, so <laughs> brought Nick's um, banana from, so yep. he can use for his Venezuelans. Here we have the black and gold rams. Yep. The juveniles, they're looking really good as you can see. Yeah, there's lots of black ones in there. Here we have normal German blue rams. Oh, they're tiny. They're tiny, yeah. Here are a, a lot of black rams. These are pearl scale marbles. And, and the then parents. the pearl scale pear. Oh yeah, black, 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 gold. So good. I can't tell you how, ex how excited I am about finally having these. So that would be 
That's the female. The female? Yeah, yeah, sure, she's plump. Oh, they're gonna get so big in my system. Look at the size though, compared to the Ultims. Got yeah. the Peruvian ones. Massive size difference, and these aren't even fully grown yet. They'll be pretty easy to pick out, because I'll have the pearl scales, so. Oh, they look stunning. So we're gonna catch uh, turquoise discus out, the tiger turks. This is RO water, and they're going in the tap, but I think it should be fine. Oh, jeez. How long do we leave them in there for? As long as it takes for them to sort out their... Their domestic violence <laughs> issues. <laughs> We're gonna try, um, repair this marriage. Ah, oh, let's get the other pair. These are the ones that need the help the most, I think. Man. Jesus. And here's our beaten up girl. That's hopefully not gonna be beaten up in a couple of days. Look at this, we're all figuring out our problems together. Or oh, they're getting really dark. And look, they're back to being normal. So the pair's been together, or both pairs have been in this tank for like 10 minutes now. Really, really good signs already. This is actually a really good way to calm down an aggressive pair. In Nick's case, he's got two aggressive pairs, which is unfortunate, but... They're all young though, so these guys are finally showing some actual pairing, proper behavior though, you know what I mean? Like they're swimming like they are a pair. So we're gonna leave them in here until one breeds, basically. Fill it up with a bit of RO. Or even like when they start showing breeding behavior. Yeah, because these guys were just fighting and fighting this morning and now they're not at all. So we've just gotten back from the pet store where we bought one of these like critter cages. So these are just like for, I don't know, people keep like little stick insects and things like that in these. And basically we're gonna be using these to hopefully spawn some danios and glow lights, but um, just like any kind of uh, nano egg scattering fish basically. So the way it's gonna work is I've got these off cuts of some conduit and what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue the conduit in like this, use it to hold down hopefully the crochet Okay. Well, we just wrapped that up and um, you can see that we've decided not to put the rail in because this is in really sturdily. So we just cut it to size and this should be pretty hard for any fish to get like down the side of this or down the side of that. We'll give it a trial and uh, you guys can decide whether you're going to use something like this. I think that this container was like 25 bucks, so it's a little bit pricey, but you only have to buy it once, and uh, all the professional breeders seem to use this. I guess this is now done. We'll try fatten up those glow light danios and see if they breed. Okay, so now this male has decided, we're talking about the flora male, this guy. He's just being a straight up, I don't know, I can't use a nice word for him right now. So he's been beating her up and being aggressive. So what we're gonna do is I don't mind if they switch pairs at all, like it doesn't bother me. I think that they'd be both kind of like a good mix. We're gonna separate the male on one side of the aquarium with the perspex, so he can't continue beating up the female and uh, see what the, the two females in this male do. Because from what we can see, this female is interested in this male and so is this female. So in jail. So now he's on, <laughs> now he's on his own. So now we're gonna take some fish home for Justin because Justin brought these beautiful pearl scales that you saw before. These are a breeding pair. Brought a bunch of other cool things like the black ram fry, which here you can see this is our first batch. Looking really, really good. This is just some German blues and the blacks. This is our second batch. So really, really exciting to have these guys coming through. Now, Justin's gonna be taking these panda pearl scales, right? You're gonna be taking five of these to pair off in one of his tanks. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, like it'll be on his channel, right? Yeah. We were just sitting in here and it's just started absolutely thunderstorming here. So with the blues, we're just selecting for the most blue example in really good fins. So we're trying to take all of the blue ones out of here because we've got a pair of blacks in here, the pair that I bred from my original parents. Um, they've actually started to breed and they've paired off in here. The problem is they're not gonna fertilize their eggs because they're constantly trying to fight off the other five German blue rams in here. So um, we're taking all the rams out. Justin's gonna take most of them. And we're gonna leave a pair in this tank just so that uh, in case they do get aggressive again, we can add another pair. Have a look at that. Wow. Well, it's now late and uh, we've just finished bagging all these guys up for them to go to Justin's house. So we've got, so this is one bag of the blue sapphires and then the pandas. Pearl scales. Yeah. That's pretty much going to wrap this vlog up, guys. So thank you so much for watching it. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.